Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. Today's video, we're back playing Inscription. This is a little bit out of nowhere because it's kind of late at night and I was playing the game and just seeing how far I could get. And I ended up getting another pretty good hand. Uh, let's see. You probably saw a clip right before this. I just recorded a separate one, like just using what I have to record clips generally when I play. And what ended up happening is I got the card Divine that we killed uh, in the run before this one. That was on the enemy team and it had a card counting sigil on it and it also had the mantis's double strike sigil so what ended up happening is when we fought the trader i was able to take all of the cards that the uh the trader had so they had nothing on their side and then immediately i hit them with all of the uh king x's coming out which put a bunch of rabbits in my hand after taking all of the trappers cards, which means i already had a bunch of extra cards in my hand so it's going to be pretty bad got down uh divine Divine has, what, 16 attack. I think it was 15 in the clip, but then I accidentally deleted, like, the save because this screen was up right now, and I accidentally, like, exited to the main menu before it could save. But pretty much played out the same way. So I did 32 damage with one card alone, plus the nine from the other two, or the other three King of Badens. And then that card also is free, so it's even better than I thought it was, actually. Those two cards together now are going to be super powerful. <laughs> But also right before that, let me not do it again. I was able to go to the trapper spot. And because I was dealing all of that fucking damage with King of Baden, or not King of Baden, King X, I was able to get a bunch of uh, pelts and it should let me get rid of them. I have two rabbit pelts, I think three wolf pelts and three of the gold pelts. Now here, I don't, what am I? I'm still running a squirrel sigil or a squirrel totem also. Uh, that's because the squirrel totem that I got also has that, uh, that sigil. I'll show you in a second. I'll take this, I guess. And the rabbits one's going to put more cards in my hand. So that'll be good. No, I had one, two, three, four, five wolf pelts. I'm kind of running insect right now, but this card does no damage. A grizzly bear like that. And these are really holding up to the power that I already have in my deck. This is going to let me... I don't like the... Well, I can tribute the card to get more stuff out. That's going to put another rabbit in my hand. That's why I took it. Let's see. None of the rest of these are even worth getting to me, honestly. They're, they're kind of just going to clutter my hand, to be honest. I don't know if I can keep these, actually. So I really don't want all of these in my hand. It's actually more of a hindrance now. I like the grizzly bear for sure, though this because it's sigils gonna let it help me bring more stuff out and i can get all of these cards now i kind of just cluttered my hand though so hopefully that doesn't fuck me up too bad yeah but this card no this is the card i was going to use at first i got this one and then i got divine divine's missing an eye because i used the knife and you'll see why in a second well actually not in a second i guess i'll just tell you because i used the knife on accident but it's another way of like a tooth Except for you're removing your whole eye, you sit it on the scale, and I think it does like five health or something like that. So now we also have the ring, because we got that at either the beginning of this first, this one run now, or at the end of the last run. Either way, somewhere in there we have the ring. So we'll be able to pass that trial now. And I think a trial of damage, I might be good. I don't know. I checked, I looked at my team for a second, but I didn't really pay attention to what was there it is kind of all over the place definitely don't have that one i do have some rare cards and i have the ring so i'm going to take the ring for sure so i can definitely win i already have a boon of the bone lord like the full boon i got from that same one where you get the minor boon from but i gave him something that i thought wasn't even that good i gave him the oh maybe it's because i gave him the goat and the goat has three uh like three three sacrifice points so when you take it off the board it counts for three instead of just one so I think that's what it was. Oh, you are wearing a... Okay. I can pass, of course. My most powerful boons. Okay. Don't care about that one. Magpie for sure. The magpie is definitely going to help out. You start a battle with a black goat on your board. The magpie is going to help out since we did just like clutter our hand all the way up. And I'll be able to pick out exactly the cards I want. 
Sprints here? I might have sprints here. Definitely don't have flight. And I definitely don't have pelts because I just got rid of all of them. That's the only downside. I should have kept all those pelts because there was definitely a high chance that I pulled one. There's a very low chance. Ooh, I did get it. That's like my only card with it. Okay, so we have two, two boons now. Three boons total, but two from this. Two picks a turn wouldn't be bad because that'll let me pick up more squirrels. And the more squirrels I have, the more uh, damage divine, divine will do. And divine, I don't have an insta kill card, but I'm definitely going to be able to get enough cards. In my, I feel like I'm going to be able to get enough cards in my hand for divine to kill the moon easily. I didn't do much exploring around the board on this run, like around the table and everything. I should have done that some more. So maybe if I record more in the beginning, I'll do that. Actually, no, I did, because this is the round that I got the third life. And I don't think there's much else besides the one thing around in the painting now. Unless I'm still missing something with where the caged wolf was, which is possible. And missing something where that uh skeleton is? No, the squirrel is. Okay, we got a strange larva. We can at least put that down. Actually, I'm going to put the elk down first. I forgot that my scrolls have this ability, so anything can go down quickly. Once again, I'm going to use the squirrel to get everything down. But actually, you don't get this where so I can use instead of to keep using. Well, it doesn't really matter if I keep using squirrels or not. I already have three items. I could use something just cause though. Might as well, cause I won't be able to use it to like get a, an achievement or anything. See if I get something better. I was really hoping for something different there. But I think this, this right here one shots. Okay, so a bunch of stumps. I have another divine, but that's not a problem yet. And the strange larva might flip over before divine even comes in, so I think I should be good there. But I'm still gonna grab, I'm actually gonna grab this card first. Oh, never mind. Uh, where's it at? There we go. Well, oops. Oh, I guess I'd have to kill something to put it down, huh? That's going to deal enough damage to kill on its turn anyways. I guess I could bit down a bunch of these if I wanted to. Oh well. Yeah, because these are gonna do more damage than uh what you call it? A bunch of King of Badins. I fuck, I'm gonna keep saying King of Badins, King X's. So take another card, I'll hold on to what is it? Where is it at? Divine. And I'll take does something else have anything good? I can use you just to get another rabbit in my hand. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait for that uh wolf to come off the board on or not the wolf, the elk to come off the board on its own though, I just realized, because it's not gonna die from being uh sacrificed. Alright, now we fight the moon. But these two both are going to put out eight damage alone. I might leave the what I have on the board until they die, just because I can take those hits with what I have. And this will be the first time the, the moon isn't just immediately killed. I'll do the rabbit's horn also because that'll give me another card in my hand. And I've never seen the chimes before. 
anything else worth like seeing that I might want. I technically could use the skink. I mixed the uh the is this the skink? No, that's the stout. Mix the stout and the stink bug together to see if there's anything special that would happen there, but so far nothing from there. Damn, I still almost one shot it. Uh here we go. Hold you on the hand. Grab another squirrel. You can put down. We can just put divine down, and we're gonna kill next turn no matter what. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna instantly kill him immediately too after this, because divine has another swing, which is enough to kill by itself. Let's see what's new at the end of this round. I looked at some of the achievements to see if I can figure out how far this could go. And as far as I can tell, eventually it looks like there's a challenge mode in air quotes, I guess. But I'm not really sure on that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, a great scribe regaled you with this with his stories. He told you of a world long past and of how he had conquered it. Of how pure his true intentions were. How he only wished. Enough. Something's coming through. Okay, so maybe we have to keep beating him a few times before we uh, progress in the story. After that first time. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Kabad, and today's video we're back playing Inscription. I found some new shit last night when I was playing. I recorded a little bit like out of nowhere and prompt to kind of, and this is gonna jump in right where I left off. So the last few runs we got the, and y'all saw it, we got the, uh, I think I saw it at least both times, but we got the knife appearing for us as the special ability. And what I told y'all before is that the knife that you take out your eye. The game glitched. It didn't save my fucking. Sp oh, no, no, it's it's still in. It's just not doing the effect. OK, anyways, so what happened is you use your eye. Last night when I played it, it showed the effect a little better. But before there was kind of a rune symbol occurring on the right side of the screen because I had removed my eye beat a boss and at the end of the boss it's like oh looks like you lost your eye here take a new one so i took an eye that kind of had like a square on it it was kind of a rune looking thing and uh what is it so now on the clock right here i didn't do it last night because obviously i wanted to show y'all but it was too late to start recording something but i want to see what happens when we set the clock to match all of these sizes okay i had the little hand switched but also, hang on, I don't have game sound. Hopefully whatever's happening doesn't get fucked up. So I did it immediately because that's that's how we missed the skeleton cart that I swear is real. And I'm ha mad too because I was talking to my coworker about the game. Hang on, it's weird to play without any sound at all. Um Anyways, I was talking to my coworker about the game and I was trying to explain that card to her because she's she's watched it. She's mark, watched Markiplier play it. I've never played it at all. So she tried. I tried to explain it to her. I'm like, oh, she was like, I haven't even heard about that. And then she tried to say something to me. I don't remember what she said, but for me, I feel like my mic is speaking. For me, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I was like, well, what about when you change your eye out? And then she was like, yeah, but there wasn't any magic stuff or something like that. So... I don't know where this game's gonna go, but I'm probably gonna keep recording it because streaming gets gonna be more not stuff. But let's see what this thing is. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. Okay, so this is the last card that we were looking for. And I believe this is this is the cage wolf that we're finally finding, it seems. Um Game sound is so quiet for me. I think it's just myself, though. Um, hopefully. So take the roll of film before before he sees it. But I don't know where that happens at. 
If we grab it from the shelf. Okay. Let me see what happens if I actually remember to take that thing. That foul stunted wolf. You really want a, such a creature in your deck? He was talking shit about the uh the caged one too. The sight of it does does try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. Actually, I'll probably show y'all what it's like when we first go into a fight and lose an eye or something like that, too. Or when we get an eye back is probably what I'll bring it back for. So an eye and then what happens when we actually grab... Actually, let me go grab it right now while I'm talking about it. Oh. What are you up to over there? Oh, I got an achievement. Reborn Hope. All right, that's mine. Over here, we have a squirrel next to a raven. Uh, Still got to try and do that. Definitely going to go for that this run, too. So maybe I'll try and catch that also. I don't know. I don't want to make too many promises this run, but we got to get some motion in <laughs> the storytelling, too. Okay, so I'm in the fight. Well, not in the fight. I'm fighting the prospector, and what I'm going to do is just immediately pop out one of my eyes real quick. You know what I mean? Uh, and see what happens just if you, like, immediately blitz somebody like that. Like, if... Because I remember one time we beat the Prospector too quick, or maybe it was the Angler, one of the two, and a bunch of bears popped up and kicked the shit out of us because we weren't supposed to win that fast or something. But I think that's just because it was really early in the game. Now, I also picked up this card after I stopped by the Trader Shop with the Wolf Pelt and got this card. So this is also going to be pretty good. It's going to put itself back in my hand uh, anytime I place it down. And then I can just keep cycling it back down on itself. Uh, well, not really. It's not going to give me any extra cards because it doesn't have, uh, like, the rabbit's worn or something like that. But it's still going to be pretty good overall. Basically, when I put it down, it's not going to take a card out of my hand. So it itself is going to charge itself. Uh, but let's get this eye out real quick. Uh, what is that, four? So I do still have to deal one... Da Damn, that shit was loud. Uh, I still have to deal one damage, so I'll just use one of these real quick. And that was actually a pretty bad spot to put that, huh? Actually, I don't know if he's still going to drop those in. Uh, despite... But I'll do it this way. It does make it hard to see a little bit. been a while i know one time we did see a corpse pop up i don't know if i recorded that though uh we'll take you and then so i think we're finna one shot dude immediately cool great oh it stacks the bone so neatly this time cool so now let's see what rare card we get too because this deck right now is a little bit on the small side because we keep mixing cards off again the mantis god is good i always say i'm going to take it sigil though and never end up doing it uh but i think i'm going to make sure i do it that's that's bullshit. i was just talking about i always pick that card too that's crazy and yeah, I would care for a new eye. Uh, we took this eye last time. Um, I just want to see what happens when I take this goat's eye. See if it changes anything. Nope. So now we're going to see what happens when we win without. I want to see if I can do as much damage as possible. So I take both of these off the board. I'll put a rabbit's horn in my hand. And this will put two cards in my hand. Well, it's going to put one card. That's going to put a card. That's going to put a card and a second card. And then that's going to put a card. So this is going to, yeah, it's going to be a bunch. Well, I could have paid attention, but. So this, so that added four health to this. Or four damage to that alone. Another challenger had bested Leshy, great scribe of the beast. Okay, so this dude's name is Leshy, Great Scribe of Beast. So we're getting more into what who he is. And I fear our time may be drawing to a close. 
It seems nothing I can do, nothing I do can prolong my reign here, since you got involved. Oh, you will see in time that you should have simply let things be. All right, so we're disrupting his kingdom, it seems like. Is it not what you are used to? Around here, this is considered a delicacy. It's garbage. You've done me a great disrespect. Absolutely. Ooh. Come what with it me. It's almost like he's listening to what I'm saying real time, you know? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. Oh, did I get him? Did I get that bitch ass? Let's see. The old man. What is? What did he say his name was? It, well, it'll come up. Okay, so now what though? He, there's a hand there. Hang on, let me put both hands in. There's stuff over here. Okay. So there's a bunch of bodies. Jeez, I guess that's all the people that died. This is the cabin. I guess it's emptied out. It was super small, huh? All right, let's see what this is. Is that us actually beating the game, huh? I know there's other stuff in here, though. Why'd I say, huh? What the fuck? Anyways. All right, so let's see what happens when we hit new. <laughs> Because either that was the end of the game or there's no Ooh, good thing I did not stop recording. A lot of data is being wiped. New stuff starting, purging deck. Ah, oh, shit, it's gonna wipe all my death cards. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. I got an achievement. Uh, that is until the day the scribes arrived. Oh, that's the stout right there on the bottom left. Top right is the dude that we was talking to. Each had their own method of inscriptions to create cards. Okay. Grimora used quills to inscribe the epithets of the dead. Epithets. Lesha used a wild camera to capture the beast. Okay. EO3 used the particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used the brush to paint his wizard pupils. The cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. And so one day, the challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. So am I choosing which scribe I'm replacing? Whoa. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambitions. What the fuck is this game? Uh, choose a starting deck to mark my ambition. Okay, well, the marking of the dead one seems cool because that kind of fits just stuff I like, but also the robot seems cool. So I might go with that instead. I don't know. The painting doesn't seem like my thing, and I kind of hate Leshy now, so I'll go with this. Uh, your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology. Uh, sure, yeah. The cards were added to your collection. This is an entirely different game now, huh? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, what is this indeed? Okay, new friend, maybe, hopefully, or a card fighter. Well, if I was about, I was just about to call quits out, here, call it quits out of here. But now that there's a challenger, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed and... Full disclosure, I'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. So, okay, so just gonna tell me that. All right, cool, great. I guess recognition of, I'm not doing it until you do something else. Like you gotta be good or some shit. 
so I'm just, oh well never mind this definitely shows the scribes tech wizard or not wizard but like forest undead and whatever that one was painting start with the undead one i want to see what this deck is like and see if it's anything i can uh this isn't what i expected you're here marvelous i'm grimora scribe of the dead uh until quite recently i was disgraced now i returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends okay so this was the stink bug then based on like the eyes right there underneath you can tell which makes sense on why stuff started to change uh, if you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. Uh, you found a piece of an epithet. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Sniff, I beg of you. So he was the one eaten by the hungry dog, of course this uh you stiff through the bones and found a card pack inside oh a card pack deathly card pack uh okay grow into a more powerful god time card flying and moving uh skele magnus after attacking skele magnus perishes also skele magnus owns owner controls no more cards skele magnus perishes so you have to have a card in your hand and it can attack where it dies Slash it kills itself. Mage Knight owner controls no max cards. Mage Knights perish. Mage Knight perishes. I can only I can only pick one of these cards. This one doesn't sound too bad. And it just flies and moves. I don't know what that cost is though. Uh the cards were added to your collection. Okay. Arc a living slice of lemon approaches. Brighten the trig is a lime. Ye you think he will squeeze a defeat out of old? Okay, me? Cool, whatever. You're a boatman? I don't have a good early game, like, damage setup. I don't know what this material cost on stuff is either. Uh, scheduling collapse in the bones. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I think it's going to keep moving and swimming. Oh, it's going to drop skeletons as it goes, huh? Ghost ship moves to a new space and a skeleton jumps ship. Okay. Well, at least that'll block the damage. Actually, it's just going to kill it. Uh, the 79er moves spaces. Ghost ship merges. So this is going to chase ghost ship around the board and it should just keep it. Keep like breaking stuff, basically. Or breaking what it puts down. Yeah. With this, we can use it to start like dealing damage, actually. Now we're kind of stuck, but everything over here is dealing damage except for that uh, first robot, but I don't really know what's happening here. Okay, so this will just destroy it, right? Cool, great. So that gives me bones. And I have five energy, so I'll put down this big bitch, right? I have nothing that does more than two damage. Or more than one damage, really. This bitch still isn't dead. How many hits do I need to win? Um, yeah, I don't know how many hits I need to actually beat this dude. Okay, cool. Don't have enough energy. Okay, so eight. I need eight to win now. I right, okay. I beat you. Blah, blah, blah. Firstly, take you this. Blah, blah, blah. 
more deathly cards so i can't really i guess i can't use these cards yet since they're not since i'm not using a death deck i guess not really sure there uh okay so royal is uh my name is royal it's the far right tomb here's the headpiece uh, you found a piece to an epithet. It's Royal Royal Domin Dominguez. Wow. Uh, 1589 spring. Okay, cool. Oh, let me loot this fucking room first. God damn. Uh, you found a piece of an epithet casket hit by a falling piece of ice. Okay, great. You found a card pack among. Okay, cool. Still one of the undead card packs. Every time it's been a rare card though, so that's pretty good. Cards were added to your collection. Is that the far right tomb? But I'm not sure if that's in this room or not. Because if this is a different area. Okay, well, there's just a whole other dude in here now. Okay, what do you have? You're a shop? You wish to trade? Oh, the trader, okay. I can just buy tokens from her. I only have one though, so I can buy a skeleton card. That probably won't do me any good. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Uh, yeah. Let me go see where these. T oh wait. I'll have to find all the pieces to these tombs. Okay, we'll have to figure out who this dude is then, because I know he was the one who was eaten by a hungry dog. But I'm gonna call the video there, because I have this this footage is supposed to go with the last three sets of stuff I recorded. And I don't know how long that was. So thanks for watching this whole setup. Inscription's now a whole new game. I was talking about switching to to streaming it because I thought I was gonna stay the whole first game. Cause like I said, I watched a little bit of the beginning, but that was literally it. I probably watched one or two playthroughs of what that first part was. So we're going to keep going and see what this turns into. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.